Hey, what's going on guys? Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome to episode 31 of Pokemon Green. Last time, I finally got through the Team Rocket hideout, and I got the Silph Co, and this time I am going to, well as you can tell, I'm going to finish up the Pokemon Tower, which I did in episode 24 and 25, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, and I'm just going to turn on my volume slightly because it is a little too loud for my liking, there we go. I don't think that affects you guys. And darn, I forgot to spread repels. And yeah, thanks to Slopeco, we can now actually encounter Pokemon, aka Gastly's, because um, that's the only Pokemon you can find in here, I'm pretty sure. Maybe you can, no, I think you can find Cubone, actually. Uh, that might just be um, the remix. All right. Gonna run away from you? Okay. I guess repel's a good idea. Oh, wait a second. I don't have any more repels, do I? Aw, oh, frig. That's a escape rope. Yeah, I think I, tr I threw all my... Oh, I, <laughs> I threw out all my repels. Crap. Alright, well, you know what? There's no point in cutting. I'm just gonna get... I'll, I'll get up there in a second anyways. I can just super speed. Alright. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I just wasted an escape rope. I guess I could redo my. I guess I could like um, I could um, you know, reset my save so I so I have that extra escape rope. But I don't care. I can just buy another one somehow. I can I can learn the um translation. It's not a big deal. And I still have two of them, anyways, right? So two. Yeah, I'm good. I don't even think I would need those two, to be quite honest. It's good to have them, just in case. Ooh, a Haunter! Okay. Interesting. I would catch it, but I think I have my whole team planned out anyways, and I don't really... I guess I could evolve it, but... Because I have another computer that I also have a game... I have, I have Visual, Visual Boy Advance on that computer, too, so I think I probably could figure out how to trade. And you can't find Cubones, I guess, what I thought. Um, but that, my other computer is almost a decade old, so I'm not really sure how good it would be for that, to be quite honest. And it's still quite a few months away from being a decade old. It's like, what? It's, it's, um, it, in January, it'll, it'll be 10 years old. Be gone, intruders, and it's a Marowak. Well, it's a ghost first, and then it becomes a Marowak. Um, is that a bone that it's holding, or is that just two white hearts? That's what it looks like. Okay, dig away. I think you have to kill it too, right? Because um, I think if you try to run, then you just put it pushes you pushes you away. So wait, why did I? I should just use slash. Okay, now we're gonna use scratch. Oh wait a second, that was probably dumb. Yeah, slash would have been slash would have been probably a better idea. But you know what? Whatever. Marowak goes away. Bye, Marowak. Alright, now we can finish this place. We got some Team Rocket Grass to fight. Um, we are going to stick with... Actually, we're going to go with Pidgeotto. That means Pidgeotto might, tech... might potentially evolve in this episode. Probably not. Yeah, we're 3,400 experience points. I don't think we're going to be getting that with these trainers, because this is all I'm going to be doing this episode. After this is, is done, like, I, after I, I finish this, then I'm done with this episode. So. And, yeah, I'm trying to think. I always, I'm always confused about what way I should go. I think I'm going to go... I'm either going to do the annoying route first, or cycling road. Cycling road connects, I believe cycling road connects first from, um, pretty sure it connects from, uh, uh Fuchsia, and, uh, to Celadon, right? I think. But you know what, it's probably better off if I just do the big long route, because that's gonna, that's gonna take forever, like, that route is so long, so it's probably, it's probably good if I just do that first to get it out of the way, to be quite honest. So, that's probably what I'll end up doing. Anyways, <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here, you Zubat. Oh, I'm not confused right again. And 
of course, you have to hit yourself because that's just what you do. Come on, Pidgey Oto. Look attack. Come on, don't hit yourself in confusion again. Don't. Thank you, man. And then I was actually gonna throw something. <laughs> and who is last? It is. Golbat. Oh gosh. Actually, Golbat looks better in this version than he does in Red and Blue. Because remember his his sprite from. Red and blue. I'm actually gonna put a picture of it on screen right now. Look at that compared to his sprite in this game. His sprite in this game actually looks better. It actually looks more normal compared to his sprite from red and blue. Like, he looks like he's gonna eat you in red and blue. Like, ugh. That's actually one of the- it's one of the few sprites that actually looks- in my opinion looks better in this game than it does in the English version, so I'm not even gonna lie. Critical hit, eh? Okay, well, we're gonna quick attack you, and then you're gonna die. I had water somewhere. Oh, it's right behind me. Gotcha. Okay. Yay! Alright, you are done for. Get out of my face. Oh, you. Alright, they just leave. Okay, gotcha. Do do do. All right, let's talk to this guy. <laughs> Coughing. All right. Wing attack it is. Go with another wing attack. Hey, critical hit, alright. Um for drowsy we will Oh that's double edge! I forgot I taught Pidgeot double edge in the last episode. Right. Or I don't know if it was last episode, but it might have been two episodes ago. Anyways, it was recently. Last, within the last couple of days. Do, do, do. Yeah, I know, I'm pretty much using Pidgeot the entire episode, but honestly, he's one level away from evolving. And by the way, we're, we're gonna make this Team Rocket guy walk faster. <laughs> he ran as he should. He should be afraid. Alright, let's go. Let's go, Rocket. Rocket, Rocket, Rock the Rock. Oh, wait a second, that's. No, that's the wrong. Four Pokemon? I get tired of these guys with four Pokemon. They're just worthless, you know, level 20 Zubats and Rattatas and garbage like that. Like, I feel like just using Double Edge three times just to be, be done with it, but honest, or four times, I guess it would be. But, I would, oh, Seriously? Get out of here. Thank you. Oh my gosh, let me guess, another Zubat? Rattata. That's that's just as bad. At least it's a, it's a different Pokemon. If you'd used a Zubat, I would have been really pissed because what's the point? Like seriously, of using two of the exact same Pokemon. Like come on. Looks like Pidgeotto uh, sent out of confusion. Raticate. Okay, we're gonna go double edge this time. La 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 la. la. Hey! Oh, I, I, it was double edge. I, I was thinking, why? <laughs> why did that? Why did the red sound, like the red health sound, start up? Uh, Persian. Um, that did not sound like Zubat's cry. That's one thing I like about uh, Gen One. Actually, is that if if you're on the low health, when a Pokemon comes out, its cry will sound nothing like it's supposed to, and I find that hilarious. <laughs> Like, that sounded more like a Crobat, actually. That sounded like Crobat's crying. Crobat didn't, did, Crobat didn't even exist at this point. Anyways, guys, guess what? Bird ch does not change at 21. It actually changes at 36. Well, in this case, it does. Hey! Looks like P Pidgeot's got, like, long hair. Anyways, my team is fully evolved right now. However, my team is not complete because I still got two more Pokemon. And, um... 
one of those being the fossil. Now, here's the problem. I don't know which one the fossil is. I hope it's one of these, because if it's not, I don't have a water type planned at all, so I'm going to have to catch an emergency water. I might be using... Man, I might, I might be using a Gyarados, because as of right now, I want to use Ammonite, but the issue is... There's multiple issues. First off, I don't know where the fossil is. I, it's in my, I'm thinking it's in my bag somewhere. I don't think I got rid of it. Hopefully, I didn't get rid of it by accident. And the other issue is that it will be level 20, so I'm going to have to do a heck of a lot of training to get it up to where my team is going to be at that point. At that point, I mean, that's not going to be until we get to the 7th gym. I only have four badges right now, so I'm going to have a lot of training to do. Which is okay. I find it very therapeutic to listen to music while grinding off screen. Anyways. Um, Persian? I think that's it for the rockets. It is indeed. Okay. Mr. Fuji! Right? He gives you the, um... The poker flute. No, okay. He, now he gives you the poker flute. Give me the poker flute. Why can't you give it to me in the Pokemon Tower? That was weird. The music, like, the drums were playing in the background. It was like... <laughs> Alright, yeah, I got it. Idiot. Um, I, I knew I shouldn't be calling him an idiot. Um, okay. Anyways, guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, I'm gonna get started on, I'm gonna say, a potentially four-episode uh, mini-series, I guess you could say. Because I think it's gonna take four, possibly five episodes to get through the next, um, the next route on the pace that I'm going. If I was just doing it to be done with it, I would just do it all in one video, but that would be like an hour long, and I really don't want to do that. So guys, next time, I'm going to be getting started on the route that ended my Fire Red Let's Play for more than five years. So yeah, I will see you guys then. Adios.